the biggest thing that I looked at and was really like impressed by <coughs> was the two girls, is it Caitlin and Ogla, Ogla, I don't know her name, and who did the Museumio start their own business and I was really impressed that they did it and the way they did it and how how quick they did it even though they had loads of setbacks and how they overcame them and when we went to see the two people who were making the apps and the virtual reality, I learnt that the university helped them just as a base ground, like to the, the I think it's the foundation of what they wanted to do. So it kind of gave them a purpose. If you're passionate about something and you follow it and you work as hard as possible, then you can make anything happen. What surprised me was the work. Not so much the work that went into a startup business, but just how they had their um, degrees had nothing to do with technology, and then they went on to begin to start up their own business based on technology, and how they've gone about that and getting people um to financially support them and just having that confidence to put their idea out there which i think a lot of people are reluctant to do it might be all right with that the the university degree you do isn't necessarily that important like it their jobs aren't always exactly connected to their degrees i never even thought about starting a business or what it takes to start a business or even having sort of a business partner I just thought it really interesting that made me sort of open my mind up to sort of more possibilities of what I could do. This programme really helps as well because it it tells you that your future's in your hands, it's not